Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alexander, and today I'm going to be talking about how I lit this photo shoot within my photo studio. So as you guys know, I converted my garage into my very own video and photo space. It's called Hidden Gem Creative, and you guys can check out how I did this in the link in the description below. So I've been doing these really cool test shoots to kind of show examples of what the studio is capable of, and that's where today's shoot comes in. Hey guys, so I'm here in the studio, Hidden Gem Creative, i.e. And I just wrapped up a shoot with the amazing Morgan over here, and here's Robbie also. These guys did great. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I lit this today, and let's get started. As you guys see, we went really moody on this, using a ton of red light and a lot of foreground elements. Here we have our talent standing behind an eight foot see-through plexiglass. I went ahead and actually squirted this down with some just regular water out of a squirt bottle, just to get it real wet as if we were shooting through a really cool rainy window. Now the camera left, I went ahead and set up an Aperture 300D that I then put a red gel over. I went ahead and just side lit my talent with that making sure to kind of spill over onto our backdrop and also the talent's hair. Now for the backdrop itself, I went ahead and used a 10 foot pink seamless. You can kind of see in camera left towards the background, I went ahead and actually just grabbed uh, some fake plants that I went ahead and just clamped to a light stand and threw back there. I didn't care that I saw the stand in the shot. I just wanted to have something back there and I got some really cool shadows with that side light going on. Now to camera right, I went ahead and rigged up some tube lights that we have in-house. They're generic, no-name brand tube lights that I got online. Um, they aren't the best CRI wise, but they get the job done ballpark wise and with some color correction, you really can't tell the difference. Now this tube light to camera right is actually our side light and sort of key light here. And together with the aperture and this tube light, we're getting this really cool color contrast combo going on. And guys, last but not least, I went ahead and rigged a second tube light right above the talent. And this is almost like paramount lighting just to give a little bit of fill to the front of our talent's face. Now with any kind of foreground elements that you shoot, you guys have to backlight the stuff or else you're not gonna see it. And so that's exactly what our tube light on camera right is doing. It's allowing us to see these water drops build up on the plexiglass and that really makes that foreground pop. Awesome guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up guys and leave me a comment below. Also guys, if you haven't yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And guys, just so you know, this is a photo and video space for rent. It is available on ShareGrid and PeerSpace. We are located in Chino and our studio is called Hidden Gem Creative IE. I'll see you next time guys.